lot of teams that don't find ways to get through that. Um, you know, just struggle in different ways. And, um, you know, just finding a way to get the dub um, is huge. And, uh, you know, we can get back and go to work and, and uh, you know, learn from it. Um, and you'll be better because of it. A win is a win, okay? We got to take that for what it is. And as it is right now, the Huskies edged out another win against the Stanford Cardinals, and uh, we um, definitely came home with a W. And if you see Coach, when they left the field, he was just shaking his head, but he had a smile on his face like, hey, man, I'm mean, no, what can I say? I can't be mad. <laughs> I mean, a win is a win, but. You know, yes, the final score being 42 to 33, the Huskies edge out the Cardinals. So we're going to look at some stats right quick, okay? Because like I said, here at Home Team Network, we like to go by the numbers, all right? You know, and we like to let them do the talking, you know what I'm saying? We're not going to interject a whole bunch of our theories and all of that stuff. And um, I don't know if my mic was on during the first part of this, but there are some things that are going on as we speak. Uh, Matter of fact, Arizona just scored another touchdown, um, and they are looking good against Washington. I mean, against, oh, yeah, against uh, uh, Oregon State. So it's 26-17 with 222 to go. And like I said, the picture's clearing up as we go along, even as we speak. Hopefully they can edge these guys out looking at it from a Husky perspective. All right? Here from the dog pound, I'm telling you like it is. And this just makes it so that these guys are getting tenderized before they come up here, before they hit the dog dish, okay? Because definitely right now, Utah's been tenderized. They got beat today, too. They lost their um, 19th home defensive stand today. And uh, I was like, this is what I was looking for. I want Oregon to tenderize them before they get up here. Because all of these guys are coming down the gauntlet. They're coming down the gauntlet. So let's take a look at what the what the stats were today for them Huskies versus Stanford Cardinal. Now, Michael Penix, he had another stellar day. He had 21 completions out of 38 attempts for 369 yards. Now, some people would be like, uh, yeah, okay, he had a you know a B plus day, okay. But it's like, if you look around the whole country, that's any other quarterback's A-plus day, all right? We won, we're looking for Michael Penders every day, game in and game out, to uh, come up with uh, 500 yards, okay? That's not realistic. We, we're looking for that balance, and we might have found a little bit of it today. He also had four TDs and one INT. All right, Daniels. Now, a lot of people was thinking that Daniels outplayed uh, Penix. I don't think so. I just think he shocked everybody. You know, he came in with, uh, what, 31 uh, completions out of 50 attempts. He was slinging that rock. But he only had one TD, okay? And he totaled 367 yards. So he finished two yards behind Penix, who had uh, less attempts, okay, and more completions. So let's just go there. Penix outplayed Daniels, but it was notable. Daniels had a good game. He looked good. He also rushed today. He ran for some. That's where he kind of was the difference factor, all right? So let's talk about the rushing. All right, our back, Johnson, he had 18 carries for 84 yards and one TD. These are the elements of time that got to start creeping into our offense to bring us that balance that's needed. You know, so we can start controlling the ball. And that was a factor at the end, if you notice. The clock ran out. We took victory formation. I was like, yeah, okay, we're doing the thing now. We're doing what has to be done. All right. Our defense was staunch, and they held them. We got the ball over on turnover on, on, on a, a turnover on downs, and we just ran the clock out. And Daniels, that quarterback, had 18 carries for 85 yards and two TDs. I mean, he ran one play up the middle. It was so wide open, we could have drive a U-Haul up through there, and nobody would have touched it. <laughs> it is what it is, though, you know? 
my thing is this. As long as these guys continue to have that uh, bend but not break attitude near the goal line, that's going to help us in the long run because we're going to get we're going to go against teams, and I'm hoping that our level of competition will come up. Now there were some uh, there were some issues uh, in the red zone. If you guys didn't notice, we had some turnovers, some crucial turnovers. I was kicking my kicking my furniture, kicking man. I was getting upset, spilled the popcorn. <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute, hold on. How did we? How do we keep coming down here inside the 10 yard line? You know what I'm saying? And we turning the ball over and we just blowing it, you know. One was a fumble, one was an INT. I'm like, get that. Are we are we trying to lose? Are we trying to lose? We don't want to make this, we don't want to make this conference look any more murkier than it does. Okay. We need a clear cut favor coming out of here so that when we do go into the conference championship and hopefully take care of business, then we could be a clear-cut forerunner for those uh, college football playoffs, okay? So uh, running the ball, uh, receiving yards, I'm sorry, um, Jay Polk had five recessions for 148 yards and two TDs. He looked nice out there. There was some drops out there. That's the other thing. Did you all notice that? We had some drops out there that were crucial, and I'm like, wait a minute. Come on, now we can't start just not being focused, you know. As we get closer on downs, and you're like, "Oh, hold on, this is this is Stanford, you know. They're two and five, one and five in the conference, you know." That, and just not be focused. We 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 have to be focused. In fact, what we need to be doing is out there uh, working out our uh, next week's game plan on Stanford, just to make sure we got it right. <laughs> but he had a he had a good day, and uh, so did uh. Um, Owen Yana, however you say his name, but he did have a crucial turnover. He fumbled the ball, um, but he did make up for it. And, uh, you know, we were able to survive. Meanwhile, their receiver, they had a receiver, and I was telling you about that, Oya Manero. Oh, yeah, I, I can't know. I don't know how to pronounce his name. Oya Minor, he had a big day. I kept saying, this guy, man, I've watched him throughout the season. He's a tough receiver. He's a big guy. He's hard to break down, and he definitely got nice hands. He had nine receptions for 146 yards and one TD. Yeah, kind of scary. You know, when you think about it, like, wait a minute, man. We don't need this type of these kind of numbers working against us, you know? So what I look at right now is uh, see what we went with uh, total offense, okay? Yep. There is Rome Adunze's fumble, um, but most definitely, uh, uh, let's see. I'm just wondering, did they offensively outplay? Because mind you, for the last two weeks, we have been getting outplayed on offense. And the other team has also beat us with time of possession, okay? Not a good look at all. Not a good look at all. You feel me? So it's close here, okay? Uh, uh, our total receiving yards was uh, 21 receptions for 369 yards. Okay, we did have that long touchdown. Ooh, thank God for that. That was nice. While Stanford, in the meanwhile, had 31 receptions for 367 total yards and a long of 53. See the balance, how close it was? Now, here's the catcher. Here is the catcher. Okay, rushing the ball, we rushed 27 times for 91 yards, all right? Meanwhile, they had 35 yards for 132 yards. So let me just do the math. Did they outplay us? Did they have uh, – um, uh, bigger uh, uh, total yards against us. Again, it has happened. Again, it has happened. They have uh, uh, definitely um, another team, and this is just the Cardinal, mind you, that came in here and outrushed us with the ball. And it's just sad, man. It's sad. Right now, Oregon State just came back with another score. So it is now 24 27 with. One Geico makes car insurance as easy as loving Parmesan. Say when. 
Hold on, let me say when. Say when. When. <sighs> With 24-7 emergency roadside service, it's yeah. easy to get go. Fresh ground pepper? Yes, please. Okay. From the four. Yeah, that's a big game. Fafita throwing. Touchdown, Arizona. Wiley second of the game. In that one one game two years ago. So again, looking at what we did out there on the field, it's like we gotta just we just gotta get motivated to come out and play better ball, okay? Be more dominant out there on the field, okay? Right now I'm looking at the time. Um, there is 46 seconds left, and it's third and two, and they just got, I believe, uh, uh, Arizona just got the first down, and the Beavs have no more timeouts. It's close. It's inches. So it, it's starting to it's starting to get clear what, what's going to happen here down the road, all right? Um, let's see. Right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here to the Pac-12. Um, the standings, I'm going to give you guys, let me get on here and share that, all right? And give you the standings coming from the Pac-12, and this is what we're looking like. Everything is starting to uh, show, its, uh, its show its hand. USC is looming for us. And fortunately, <laughs> that's another game that we got to, <laughs> boy, we got to look at them. We got to look at them, you know, Oregon State. I'm um, looking like they might just lose this game. Yep, it's a first down. That's the game. So Arizona has done, took care of some business, and Oregon State will take another loss. So that will drop them down to three and two, basically knocking them out of whatever it is they got going. They got a hard road to climb. Um, but it's starting to develop itself, okay? Um, so, again, Oregon – they're playing tough, all right? And they got a chip on their shoulder right now. They got a chip on their shoulder. USC survived. Okay, they survived. They were losing. They are, boy, they survived. They got a one-game winning streak going, and they survived. So Oregon is is uh, looking at winning. They've won two games now on the streak. And, of course, there's us with eight. Games won, no losses. But yes, most definitely, man. I look at it like this, man. That Utah game, that's what we needed. We needed that to happen, okay? We needed that to happen, you know, because we're trying to get Utah to come in here and be a little bit tenderized, all right? Get them out the way do the thing that we need to do and just be like, okay, let's just gear it up now, all right? Yeah. The USC game, that just shows you, man, that they're struggling. Again, they had to score 50 points to beat a Cal team that was 3-5. and five. They barely won 50-49. to 49. It was a good game for entertainment and purposes, but that should have sent us a message like, you know what? All we got to do is take care of business. That's all we have to do. That's it. Let me get over here right quick and let you all see this right quick so you can see what's going down. All right. One second. Looking at the schedule. Boom. So this showing you just some of the things that are going on. Um, uh, Colorado, unfortunately, they took it. I like Colorado, man. I, 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 I'm pulling for them. I want Dion and the rest of the team to have a good season. But this one was significant, watching Wazoo go down hard against ASU. And so these guys are getting tenderized now. And we'll be seeing these guys here in the Apple Cup, all right? In the Apple Cup. And, uh, oh, oh, boy, are we going to be looking at some things that's going to that's gonna be, you know, let's just face it. This is the last Apple Cup for the Huskies and, and Wazoo. Everybody's moving out of the Pac-12. Uh, Wazoo is staying, but we're out of here, and this is the last one. It's a sad day in Pac-12 history. So right now, 
Looks like the Cougars are going to be coming in a little tender. All right. Uh, season's basically a wrap for them. Um, I don't even know if they're going to make it to a ball game, but we'll see. Also, the same thing for Colorado. I don't know if they're going to make it to a ball game. Much as they be hating on Dion, hating on the guy. So, most definitely, though, FC still on the board. You got Utah still on the board at, at six and two. Um, it's still open, but it ain't over till it's over, okay? But most definitely, shout out to them dogs, man, for pulling off, man. I believe I do got some highlights that like, we can show you, and, and, and we'll do that. Let's watch some highlights of the game, okay? Let's do that. Yeah, I like what I seen though today. They was hitting out there. Boy, was they hitting out there. I'm surprised that wasn't a uh uh one of those unsportsmanlike calls, but we still punched it in on them. All right. Us he's handled their business, done. That's all I can tell you. And they took care of business, and that's what matters the most, man. You know, like Coach said, a win is a win. All right. Just doing some reactions right now. That quarterback was standing tall, looking pretty good. That's that receiver I was telling you about, man. <laughs> you know, that was their tight end, but they also got a receiver that was just, he will make you mad. Because, like, how does this guy keep getting open? Look at how wide open the middle was. Remember I said that? Could have drove a U-Haul through that joint. It's like, come on, man. What kind of defensive set was that on the goal line? Look at that. Come on, man, stop. Well, these are the some of the things that we got. To, even the coach is laughing like, I could have ran through there. <laughs> so uh, here we go, Penix on the screen. We're looking good. Like I said, we're involving the tight end screen. He looks nice. He looked like he could play some running back. Here we go with the over-the-shoulder throw. Nice. Penix is just such a surgeon. Yeah, he's a surgeon. Look at him. Look at Odunze, boy. Get off me. Ah. Nice. Mm-hmm. Throwing from the end zone. Boom. Come on now. He may go all the way. And then when I seen the flag, I was like, no. No, that might be the longest throw of the year. Don't throw the flag. It was us. It was all good. And like I said, he had a, definitely a good game. We got two nice receivers, three actually. You know what I'm saying? And that's important. Yeah, he gave the boy some business down there. He fell out to the ground and everything. Mm, that, that tough receiver I was telling y'all about. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I liked it, the quarterback. I liked it, the receiver. Look at that one-hand catch. Nice. One thing I am worried about is our defensive backs. They're giving up. They're giving up plays, man. You know what I'm saying? Our defense is kind of looking sus at times, but they still come through. You know what I mean? When it gets close to the red zone, it's like, you know, it's just enough to make you not get mad. Okay. <laughs> yep. Yeah, here we go. Um, the kicker, the kicking game was good. Everybody basically was hitting all their stuff. And this one went off the uprights into the doggone, <laughs> into the doggone zone. It was good. Again, the kicking game being the element, you know what I'm saying? Look at how we get beat, man. This, I don't like seeing that week in and week out. There he is. Our reminder, hey, your monitor, I don't know. I have to say his name, but he's a tough guy. Man, he's tough. Penny's comes right back. 
that was the one right there where they took it out and brought it all the way back down. I was getting spooked right now, and there they go again. This one, I believe, yep, that's the quarterback again. They're doing it like almost running a wildcat. Watch the middle between the tackles. It's like, come on, man, nobody's even touching him. This is not good. We got to work on this. We got to get this. We got to get this fixed, okay? So we're going to run against it. We're going to come up. And Oregon specializes on going off the tackles, okay? Nice running. Nice running right there. It reminded me of Jock Robinson trying to make that cut. Look at them guys pulling. There he goes. Ah, right there. Yes, Napoleon Kaufman light. Connects with that beautiful delivery. Boom. Mm hmm. So this is when I started getting mad. Are you guys about to do? Wait a minute. <laughs> We're not going to blow it, are we? <laughs> but we kept coming. That's what I'm saying. And this tight end, he he made uh, he made his presence known today, man. Made his presence known, man. Devin Devin Culp, he was running like a running back and catching ball. Like he even kind of got him like in a little slot position. You know what I'm saying? Got himself open, boom, caught the ball, fell into the zone. Shout out to that young man. So here they come back with the ball. They got eight minutes to go. Couldn't, couldn't get the sacks when we need them, and they're coming up with big throws. I'm getting pissed again. Like, come on, man. My people was like, come on, man. You about to break the TV. <laughs> I just, it was just, it is what it is. And sometimes I feel like I'm right out there with these guys, man, because I know what's at stake right now. This is the first time a team has been 8 0 in over 20 years. Look how they're just going into the end zone, not getting touched. So it's another touchdown, right? Barely getting to look at off tackle right behind the guard, and he's already in the end zone. So it's 35 33 with five minutes left. And look what happens. I'm like, no, it's getting ready to happen. Oh, my God. Don't tell me we're about to lose this game. No, please say no. If you ask me, it was a little bit of holding right there. As you can see, a little bit of pass interference. He's not looking for the ball, and he just luckily it landed in his hand. But I think the ref should have threw a flag straight up. He's holding him right there. He's face guarding is what they call it. He didn't make a play on the ball. It just landed in his hand. And they gave it to him. Look at Penix is pissed. First show, because it wasn't, it's one of them back, back uh, shoulder throws that he's been famous for. And uh, definitely we should have had that. So 35 33 with two minutes to go. We start running it. See what I'm saying? And this is the part of the game that I said we need to get, we need to get to. Ah, he's in there. He's in there. Mm-hmm. Dylan Johnson had a very good game, like I said. We can reach for that goal line. He's inside the cones. Touchdown. That kind of put us away. You know what I'm saying? We needed that. Put him away. You know, mentality. Let's get him up out of here. Most definitely, man. We definitely have to get ourselves in position to be up into a position where we can just say, hey, man, the game is won. Instead of these last-minute <laughs> hold-your-breath type of finishes, I mean, this is entertaining, but when you're looking for your team to maybe have to depend on some panel to get you in, because the first thing they get to talking about is, oh, well, you only won by so many points against a team that wasn't really, you know, a, a contender, a 2-5 and five team or something like that. Like, come on, man, let's stop it, man. I've been saying this from the start of the season. In the Pac-12, any team can beat the other team depending on what's at stake. And right now, these guys are looking at, like, let's beat the top dogs. Let's beat the top dogs. You feel me? And so we just got to think that everybody's coming with their A game. Everybody's going to come with their A game. Right now, I'm going to just show you who's – we know who's next. We got to make sure, boy – it don't get no better. The rest of the gauntlet is just, oh, my God. It, it's something else. Hold on. I'm going to get that in there. I'm going to share that right quick. We'll show you what, who's next down the line. Get back to that. 
So Okay, yeah. So that's final Wazoo loss. Okay, I'm gonna look at the full season. So yeah, 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 yeah. It's it's <laughs> there's nothing. Boy, the rest of this schedule is nothing nice. Let me see. I think I already had that in there for you guys. I'm going to bring that up so we can look at it. Just looking down the line to see what we got going next. It's not that nice. Mm-hmm. Yep. Looking at o Oregon State. Well, Utah, I'll be at that game. It'll be down here at Mont Lake, Oregon State, and then Washington State. It is it is what it is. It's you know, like I said, luckily and oh, don't let me leave out USC. It's it's getting the, it's getting down to the wire, and these guys are looking um, you know, like they want to just upset now. And I don't blame them. It's trying to go out, go try to end their season on a good note. Hopefully, they can bring in some recruits. That's what they be thinking, you know, showing how competitive they are. And of course, what we're trying to do is we're trying to get that national championship. We are the only undefeated team in the conference now. Boom. Go dogs. So with that being said, man, I appreciate y'all coming through, spending your time with me, going over the game. Again, I want to show y'all where my seat's going to be. I will be there next week looking at the mutes. About this side, there, as you can see, there's no bad seats in this whole place. Definitely lit up. The team has already departed going towards the motel for tonight, the hotel for tonight. Um, TV cameras are set up. Game day is going to be outside. We're going outside right now. Home Team Network live here at Mont Lake Husky Stadium. Make sure you subscribe, like, and comment, and hit the notification bell. Let's go, Huskies. Yeah, so with that being said, man, get your seats, man, because it's going to get real good right now. This is one of those seasons, you remember, and it is definitely the last Pac-12 season in our history. So with that being said, man, y'all do the thing, man. And again, the Huskies win. Thank you.